We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, as we begin our celebration of the Holy Eucharist, we ask for God's forgiveness, for God's mercy, for truly we have sinned. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Cast your kindly light upon your faithful Lord, we pray, and with the splendor of your glory, set their hearts ever aflame, that they may never cease to acknowledge their Savior and may truly hold fast to him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, who indeed is a victor over the world, but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one who testifies, and the Spirit is truth. So there are three who testify, the Spirit, the water, and the blood, and the three are of one accord. If we accept human testimony, the testimony of God is surely greater. 
Now the testimony of God is this, that he has testified on behalf of his Son. Whoever believes in the Son of God has this testimony within himself. Whoever does not believe God has made him a liar by not believing the testimony God has given about his Son. And this is a testimony. God gave us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. Whoever possesses the Son has life. Whoever does not possess the Son of God does not have life. I write these things to you so that you may know that you have eternal life, and you believe in the name of the Son of God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion, for he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Jerusalem. He has granted peace in your borders. With the best of wheat, he fills you. He sends forth his command to the earth, swiftly runs his word. Praise Praise the the Lord, Lord, Jerusalem. Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob, his statutes and his ordinances to Israel. He has not done thus for any other nation. His ordinances has not been made known to them. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Alleluia, alleluia. Jesus proclaimed the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among people. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. My dear friends, the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. It happened that there was a man full of leprosy in one of the towns where Jesus was. And when he saw Jesus, he fell prostrate, pleaded with him, and said, Lord, if you wish, you can make me clean. Jesus stretched out his hand, touched him, and said, I do will it be made clean. And the leprosy left him immediately. Then he ordered him not to tell anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. The report about him spread all the more, and great crowds assembled to listen to him and to be cured of their ailments. But he would withdraw to deserted places to pray. My dear friends, the gospel of the good news of our Lord. Praise you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. I'd like to ask you a question to start our reflection for the gospel today. What are your New Year's resolutions this year? In a recent survey in Great Britain among 4,000 adults, the top five resolutions are number five, let's start from the bottom, take care of one's mental health. Number four, spend more time with family and friends. That's easy, of course, given that we are on lockdown every now and then. Number three, get fitter and take more exercise. Number two, eat healthier. And number one, just like in past years, lose weight. We can all relate, of course, to number three, number two, number one. (laughs) Most of us have gained weight because of the pandemic. And yet, whether in the UK or in other countries, observers say the resolutions resemble past year's resolutions, except, understandably, Due to the pandemic, one new item made it to the list, that one about mental health, and understandably. Sadly, though, like in past years, there is no item on spirituality. Like, I will spend more time in prayer, 
this year or I will read more books on spirituality, etc. But look at the gospel reading today, my dear friends. After Christmas, after all the revelries, Jesus begins his mission. And the gospels these days give us a glimpse, as it were, of his typical day, a day in the life of Jesus. He preaches from one town to another, from synagogues to public places. He also cures the sick, as in the gospel today, the leper, and exorcises people of their demons. But there's a small detail that ends our gospel today and which forms part of our Lord's daily routine. Jesus would withdraw to deserted places to pray. This is his typical day, his daily routine throughout the year. The message for us, therefore, is clear. Following our Lord's example, no matter how busy we are, make prayer part of your daily routine this year. Make prayer part of your family program, part of your New Year's resolutions. Make growth in prayer be your goal this year, your holy desire for this year. But it is not just that last line that suggests to us this theme of prayer. From our perspective, in the here and now, the whole gospel today is about prayer. And more important to our context, it is about praying in difficult times. The leper in the gospel pleads to Jesus to cure him. They have, they have a beautiful conversation, a beautiful exchange with a leper humbly presenting his case, Jesus probing, and ultimately the leper surrendering to the will of God. If you will it, Lord, you can make me clean. Isn't all this about prayer? In our prayer, especially in this pandemic, we are all lepers. We have been afflicted by the virus and more. As Pope Francis points out, greed, selfishness, these are worse than COVID-19. And yet, they continue to afflict our world. Like the leper, we humbly beg that the Lord cure us. It's been two years already since we have been reciting our Oracho Imperata. And sometimes we feel God is not listening to our pleas, for we have lost many relatives and friends to the virus already. And still, there seems to be no light at the end of the tunnel. But ultimately, like the leper, we surrender to God's will. We trust in his wisdom, in his love. My dear friends, we are the leper in the gospel today. May we continually pray this year as St. Paul admonishes us. May we pray unceasingly. Father Eddie Ontiveros, known as the father of Filipino liturgical year, was a man of prayer. As a theologian, he was even dean of Loyola School of Theology. He knew the right words the orthodox language, as it were, to be able to talk about and to talk to God in prayer. But as a musician, as it is said, he was praying twice to God. And yet in the 1990s, at the peak of his successful ministry, he suffered a stroke that muted him and paralyzed half his body for the last 10 years of his life. Many thought then how sad, how tragic even for a theologian and a musician not to be able to preach or sing. But we Jesuits around him knew it was ironically, paradoxically, in this silence that his prayer to God achieved perfection. Because it was during this time that he was most joyful, most serene, and even most compassionate. And every time we forced him to say something, 
he would smile and painstakingly utter only two words, thank you. Despite the seemingly tragic ending of a life, thank you. And that is his final prayer, a prayer of gratitude, a prayer of trust and surrender. Amen. The Lord healed the man full of leprosy and returned him to his family and community. We pray that we too may become instruments of healing to service of our brothers and sisters, especially the sick. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that you will lay your healing hands upon all those who are sick, have compassion on all those who are suffering, so that they may be delivered from their painful, pitiful circumstances, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Embrace us in your loving care, particularly those among us afflicted with cancer and other malignant diseases. We ask this through the session of St. Jude, Apostle and relative of the Lord Jesus, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the little children who are sick. Take care of them until they are fully recovered. Comfort and care for them until they are laughing and playing again, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for doctors, nurses, hospital personnel, and those who attend to the sick. Keep them in safety and reward them for their labors, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that they may take care of our body through living well and avoiding vices, that we and our family may spared from anxiety and sorrow and turn to you in joy, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those celebrating their birthdays today, Jomali Imokling, Patrick Siling, Darling Alfonso, Sister Virgili Garay RVM, Joy Gothong, Emma Porio, Jasper Landeral, Jerry Garcia, Sed Villanueva, Patrick Ditas Lobrigat, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the healing of Christine Escutin, Joanna Mariel Celis, Juan Pablo Garcia, Ernesto Celis Jr., Buenaventura Igma, Fernie Pablo, and Emily Quaso, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls of Emmanuel Gianson, Ryan Torres, Manuel Divino Sr., Ramon Fernandez, Rosalinda Manaay, Gilbert Ocampo, Petra Armena, Dwayne Franco Evangelista, Ripoldo Aragon, Bella Costello, and Edwin Totanes, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intentions of the Ateneo Junior High School, Pamplona Cluster, Classes Page, Pignatelli, and Pires, Nikki Carsi Cruz and family, St. Paul University Philippines to Tugigarao, Ali and Savi Tan, Benny Escutin, Tyron and Letty Tang on their wedding anniversary, and Remy Respecio, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions sent to our Facebook pages at Chescom and Rajo Katipunan, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of the poor and consoler of the afflicted, we humbly entrust to you those who are sick and suffer in any way. Heal them, that they may turn to you with praise and thanksgiving. Amen. Amen.
Pray now, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We pray, receive with favor, O Lord, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, it our is God. right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My dear friends, the mystery of our faith. We proclaim your, your death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess, profess the resurrection, resurrection until, until you we come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, our bishops, all the clergy, and all your faithful. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. We spend a few moments in prayer and silence, especially for those whom we have lost during this pandemic. Have mercy on them, Lord, and have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. We now pray to our Father in the words our Savior taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, 
we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Peace, peace be with to you. all of you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My dear friends, behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. By this, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent His only begotten Son into the world so that we might have life through Him. Let us pray. O God, who touch us through our partaking of Your sacrament, work, we pray, the effects of its power in our hearts, that we may be made fit to receive Your gift through this very gift itself. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer to the Sacred Heart of Jesus O Most Holy Heart of Jesus, Fountain of every blessing, I adore you, I love you, and with lively sorrow for my sins, I offer you this poor heart of mine. Make me humble, patient, pure, and wholly obedient to your will. Grant, good Jesus, that I may live in you and for you. Protect me in the midst of danger. Comfort me in my afflictions. Give me health of body, assistance in my temporal needs, your blessings on all that I do, and the grace of a holy death. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, a Mass is ended. Let us go pray. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.